Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about the status tab. Now, status tab is pretty neat because it lists all of the interfaces from all the flow exporting devices, right, from various vendors. Now, if the flow exporter is not exporting interface, right, in, uh, the um, instance of the interface, like uh, sometimes wireless devices don't have interfaces or probes, then you can still get to the device, but you'll have to navigate it to it over here, typing in a filter like um, like that, and then the device, excuse me, will show up like that. So, and then I can get the reports this way. So that is possible that something is exporting flows to scrutinizer, it doesn't show up here. Uh, but in most cases, it will show up in this interface. And uh, let's just go through some of the options here. I'm currently looking at utilization, uh, percent utilization, but maybe that's not my preference. So what I can do is I can come over here and I can say, look, I want the data by bits and it'll give it to me in bits. So I, my options are bits, bytes, packets, percent. Okay, and I'm only looking at 25 entries at a time, and the refresh interval is one minute. So that's what you can do there through the gear menu. Uh, if you come up here, you'll notice this icon right there. It says check off interfaces. Uh, we're very big on um, tool tips, so I always try mousing over things. So I'm going to grab some interfaces from devices from different vendors here. And uh, I'm going to run a report. And you can see over here on my filter, it grabbed three different interfaces and it gave me the data. So um, keep that in mind, that uh, that's what that's for. Clicking on the router itself, that's gonna bring up the device overview. We're pinging devices and SNMP polling devices once a day. So you can see we're grabbing the uh, MIB2 information there. Uh, for some details about the device. Uh, we're also pinging it to give you a round trip time and availability, and you can click on those for trends. We show you the three busiest interfaces, or click here to get all. We show you the third-party integration if you want to click on something, and we pass the IP address to that application. So, um, And then you, these are the outstanding alarms for this device. So that's the device overview. I can click and uh, run a report uh, on the version of NetFlow that's being sent, IP fix or SFlow, NetFlow version 9. And then there's a big difference between clicking here on the interface name versus one of these two columns, inbound and outbound. So if I click here, it's going to give me a 24-hour trend bidirectionally, both inbound and outbound. If I click over here, it's going to give me a five-minute trend inbound or outbound, not bidirectionally. Okay? And this menu that you see here is intelligent based on whatever's in the flow template. So if you click on something, let me see if I can find something here. This device exports NBAR, so I can run, you know, uh, DPI reports. This device here does not export NBAR, so NBAR is not an option. So that menu that pops up to run a report is intelligent based on what's in the template. So if you want to run reports on MAC address and you're not exporting it, in the flows won't be an option, guys. So um, now there is a darker gray shading there, and then you see the green actual utilization. Well, let's talk about that for a second. We can reset high water inbound, uh, outbound. We can reset them both. We can reset them all for everything, uh, all 255 interfaces. I can get to the interface details. Because in order to do percent utilization, I need a um, the interface speed. So if I'm not, I'm not getting that, I can come in here and I can modify the inbound. You know, type in a um, something like that and save it, so that I get my percent utilization. The other thing you can do is you can come down here and get the device overview, which I just sh showed you when I clicked on the router. So the uh, filtering also works great. If I want to see uh, my ASA uh, devices with the uh, ASA in the name, there they are. And now I can run a report. Um, and then I want devices with 65 in the interface name. There, I've only got one that, it, that matches both these criteria. If I delete the ASA, so that's how filtering works. Pretty straightforward and easy to work with. Beyond that, if you have questions, you can uh, click right here to launch the manual.
or just give us a call here at Plixer. We'll be glad to help you out. And thanks for watching.